Welcome back to Bad Bad Bowling with your boy C. Today we're going to be doing a ball comparison between the Phase 5 and the RXTS3. Yes, I know, one's a hybrid and the other one's Reactive Pearl, but by popular request, I'm going to get it done anyway. This, the RXTX3, we'll call it the X3, is asymmetrical, okay? And the numbers are stronger, which is making the Phase 5 a little weaker. The Phase 5 is asymmetrical. Um, Roto Grip Group makes the the X3 store makes the Phase Five. The Phase Five comes the long line of of uh, phases against the long lineage of the uh, RSTs. So, with that being said, um, I expect this to be rounder. I expect this to be more angular. I expect this to get down a lane a lot longer than the hybrid. Um, it's just a fact. That's what I expect. I expect when they both hit the pocket to crash out. I will put the numbers for both balls in the corners as always. And you know what? I expect to be able to maybe even start with this one and finish with this one in a tournament. So with that being said, I don't want to take up too much time. I'm excited about getting out to the lanes. I'm not going to throw mountains of shots today. Just enough so we get a feel for it. The lanes are actually burned up already. Sorry about that, but I promise you I will get both balls on fresh oil for you. In the, near, in the near future, okay? Like league night on Wednesday. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead. Like I said, this is a ball comparison between the Phase 5 and the RXT X3. And then there will also be one later against the Phase 5 against the Night Road. So we're going to start, because I told you, like I said, the shot is a little burned up. We're going to actually start with feet on 25. Break point around six, five, six or 5 or 6, okay? We're not going to start way right because it's not going to hold. So let's move our feet over to 28. Break point the same. Oh, a little back end. Well, let's try that again. All right, so let's try 25 again. That was over 10. As you can see, that doesn't work on 25. And I'm going to keep all these misses in here. There it is. 25, not enough. So I believe 28 is going to be right. Right point five between 6 and 7. Twenty-eight is enough. Balance issues, but you get it. Let's throw another one from 28. See if we can't throw another high-quality shot. That was break point about nine. And let's try one more at 28 with the phase five. Good. I wasn't a real big fan of the line of the last one at 28 for the so we're gonna throw another one here with the phase five. That's it. That's it. On to the next. I'm gonna start this line with the RSTX3 from 25. Break point right around the five. I knew it wouldn't hold, but I just wanted to show you. So I'm going to move my feet over to 28 with this one. RXT break point between 5 and 6. Now, with the RST being asymmetrical, it hooks a little different. So I might have to move further. Yep. 28, not enough. All right, so RST X3 from 30. Break point between 7 and 8. Try to keep it further inside. A little off balance, but so much better. All right, so let's throw it. See if we can't throw another high quality shot, RXX, RSX3. Beautiful shot. Oh no, look what I just left. And let's throw one more shot. 
Now, I want you guys to pay attention to the RX-3 and see how that backhand, that last second snap, that arky hook. Ah, boom. As you see, it's getting tacky in here. It's really hot. Okay, so now we're gonna move. Since we were doing 28, let's go to 31 with the phase five and let's try to bring the line of my eyes in a little bit. Couple, a little bit to the left. All right, I still like it. All right, now, so let's do another one from 31 with the phase five. Now, I want you to pay attention to how smooth it is when it goes through the mids, when it transitions into its roll. Um, it's really, really smooth, really smooth, really rounding, really controllable. Now, I'm going to throw another one from 31. Now, I want you to pay attention to how the phase five rounds, how smooth it is through its transition through the mids. Smooth. Very smooth. Now the phase five is very smooth through its transition through the mid. Um, it gets through the fronts effortlessly. And it is just a fantastic ball. But what I can tell you also is I found some oil in the inside. So we're gonna find out how it's going to transition from it. Woo! Still a beautiful, beautiful ball, great line just now. Okay, so on this shot with the RX X X with the X3. We had a quality shot from 30 where we started. So we're going to go to 33, try to break point around 12. Oh, and that's not good enough. So what I'm finding is there is no oil on the outside, but there's a lot of oil on the inside. So let's see if we can't figure something out. Okay, not a bad shot. All right, so let's try to throw one more high quality shot, or at least get one with 33. Now let's go and talk about it. That's got a shot. Great shot to end it with. Not a strike, but we don't care. All right, so we had an opportunity to throw both balls, the phase five and the X3. Um, remember the lanes I told you were burnt up and they proved to be just that. Um, but the balls actually were as I anticipated. This ball got longer down the lane, clean in the fronts, really clean and smooth in the mids too. And then it rounds out into form. And the X3, we all know it gets down the lane. Um, it gets into the, clean through the fronts, get into the mids. And then it has a very snappy angular hook at the end, which is absolutely lovely. Reminds me a lot of the Supernova. Okay, so if you use the Supernova before the X3, the motion's almost the same for me. Um, with the Phase 5, it's gonna be a little different, but that's okay. That's bowling. All right, so let's get back on the lanes. Let's do seven more shots to close it all out. And uh, let's talk about that when the time comes. Okay, here we go. Okay, like I said, there's a ton of oil in the middle, so I'm gonna move my feet to 35. See if I can't make the break point around 15, just to play with it. If I can't make it successful, then I'm just gonna move back over and start trying to throw some high quality shots. Like I said, that way you guys get a feel for what the ball is going to do. Hold. Let's try another one from 35. If I can't get it to work, then I will start to make the move back right. Now remember, I haven't changed the surface of the phase five. The phase five. It's got a shot. Nope. All right, so I'm gonna move my feet back over round 30 with this phase to give it an opportunity to win. All right, so let's do another shot from 30. All right, so let's go 28. Phase five. 
feet on 25, the phase 5, break point around 5. Still doesn't work. Let's get into another one. Alright, so the X3 started at 33, work ourselves back right. I just laid that down bad. That was Alright, so I'm gonna try another one from 33. Try to get break point around 12. Oh, that's out there. That's good. Doesn't come back because of the oil over the middle. Alright, so so we're gonna go back to 30. Throw a couple shots, then we'll move further right and call it a day. Wow, I drifted a lot on that shot. Now, as you heard me say, I drifted a lot on that shot. Let's try to get this done without the drift. <laughs> Good. Okay, I was battling a little bit. One last from 30 and then we'll move right. That's how balance should always be, but let's go 27. All right, let's get a couple more from 27 and go over a little more right. Look at the messenger fly. So last one from 27, we'll try one from 24, just to take a look at it. Hold. Nope. But that was all me. On the 24. All right, one shot with 24, just to get a feel for it. Got it. Oh, nope. No shot. I thought we'd give it a try. All right, so as we know, we had a chance to throw a, a large variety of shots, mostly from left, from 25 to 33. Um, both balls go a long way. They're fantastic. Um, you know the X3 is in my bag. I use it quite often, along with the Supernova. Now there's a, definitely a place in my bag for the Phase 5. Um, the X3 is a little stronger than the Phase 5, but in a different way. Um, symmetrical ball, it rounds. This has it more angular. Um, but as the pearl, this gets down the lane just a bit further when it grabs. This one grabs a little earlier into the mid, which is okay. Do I recommend both balls? Absolutely. Do I have a favorite? If you want me to be honest, the Phase 5. I'm a Phase guy. If they make Phase 336, I'll probably have those if I'm alive. So, with that being said, though, um, both great balls. Both will be in my bag. And if you're asking me how I'm going to use the balls, it'll probably be Supernova, X3, then Phase 5. But these two balls, the X3 and the Phase 5, are actually on the same platform. So, I may go Supernova, then Phase some days. Or, depending on how practice looks, I could start with X3 and then ball down to the Phase 5. With that being said... Um, you know what? I want to say thank all you guys for all your support. I could have never guessed from June to now that I would have over almost 400,000 views and over 500 subscribers. We're about to get the community tab. So again, thank all you guys. And for all you future people coming in, they can see the video. Thank you so much for watching the video. This is our community. Yes, I know it's for low red bowlers, but anyone is welcome. If anybody has any balls they want done compare, um, compared to or just ball reviews, please let me know. I'm more than willing to do that. I am a USBC um, coach. So if you have any questions or if you have any tips for me, I'm all ears. If you can, please hit the like button, that thumbs up. Or if you don't like something, hit the thumbs down and just explain why you did it. I'm more than happy to, to, to listen. Constructive criticism is welcome. And to help us keep growing, that little red box with the subscribe thing, please hit that to subscribe to the channel. 
you'll definitely be helping us grow. Okay? Now, remember I'm Clarence or C. This is Bad Bad Bowling. Have a great day.